Hi, hello, bonjour, uh, marhaba, bon dia. Um, welcome at La Salle à Manger. Um, today it's not a live, it's a um, recorded video because it's a long recipe I'm going to make um, for you. Behind the camera, as always, my lover who is um, taking care of my lighting and everything. And um, so we are going to make a lemon tart. When I started to cook um, two years ago and to bake, lemon tart is one of the first thing I did because um, I like that, my lover loves that also, and I had the feeling it was extremely, extremely difficult. The first one was horrible, like it was a big mess. And then I made another one and another one and another one. And I think for almost two months, Every day I was making a lemon tart, trying to get the lemon tart of our dreams, like the best one possible. And so I tried, I watched videos, I read recipes, I asked questions, and slowly, 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 I got the one I like. So um, we are going to start with the pâte sucrée. The pâte sucrée is the dough um, there is under the lemon tart. Um, it's a very simple one. It's really delicious. It looks like a um, kind of cookie. And, um, and that's it. Let's go. So what do we need? Flour, almond powder, confectioner sugar, salt, butter, um, soft, very soft, an egg, and a lemon. We need a bowl, like that, a spatula, um, a thing to, um, how do you call that? Microplane, uh, yeah. or grater. Grater, yes, for the lemon. A machine like that. But if you don't have that, you can use that. And your arm, okay? So let's go. So the first thing we do is to mix together the butter that, and the sugar. Okay. So you can start with the spatula. Just make sure that there is no smoke of sugar everywhere like that. we need patience to do all of that you see up And from that, when almost all the sugar is in the butter, we are going to make a cream of that. Something very creamy with the butter. Start slowly at the beginning. You see how it comes now, like a real cream. Et voilà. And now we add the almond powder. 
and some zest of the lemon. The lemon, you have to wash it before, so you do not hesitate to use a sponge or brush and just with water, do not use soap, no need to that, just in case there is things on it. So the, the zest will give some flavor to the, to the dough. So if you want a very strong flavor, do not hesitate. You put the whole lemon. If you don't want too much, that's enough. You can also use, um, um, what's the name of the green lemon? A lime. 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 <laughs> lime. You mix again with the spatula. Okay, like that. So already what you can do is like, you can already taste that. It's really, really, really good. It's delicious. Now, the egg. In the middle. That's up. And you continue to mix. And now you can use that if you want. Easier. Very different huh, when it's live and recorded. <laughs> and a little bit more. And voila. Oh, that's enough. Taste it. Mm. Okay. So now there is always a little bit left. So you take it clean here. Always clean everything. It's very important to work on a clean space and no mess. That's a lot of mess. Yes. You like this one? <laughs> Now the flour. You put the flour on the counter like that. You add a little bit of salt on it. So you've seen what I did here is I mixed everything moisture together and now I'm going to mix the salt and the flour, like the dry stuff, together and then this one, the moisture, is going to go in the flour. We are done with that. Voila. And same, you can do that in your um, KitchenAid if you want. But not everybody has a KitchenAid, so it's not, you can do that with your hands, again, it's it's not longer, like almost the same time, but at least you can really see and feel what's going on. You put the cream in between, uh, in the flour. So a little bit of technique. The flour is full of gluten, unless you make a gluten-free um, dough. 
we are, and when we are going to mix that together, if you need too much the flour, the gluten is going to explode. Like, hey guys, like big party. So we have to make sure that the flour don't think that you are kneading too much and she's quiet. So if you, if the flour thinks that, that it's confused what I said, but it's okay. So the flour is not smart. So the flour, if you knead it too much, the gluten explode. If you don't, the gluten will stay pretty much, um, behave, will behave pretty well. And at the end, your dough will be much nicer. If the gluten explodes too much, your dough will be very elastic, will be very complicated to do. So you take something like that, and what you're going to do is vertical like that. And you mix So here the flour is cool. She's not suspect, suspecting anything. Do you, oh, in French, flour is feminine. In English, I don't know. And slowly, you see, just like that. Vertical. And you see already? The dough is appearing slowly, slowly and it smells already extremely, extremely good. Hop. Hop. Side. So wherever there is flour, you take it back inside like that. And you see, the dough is coming together already with that. How long it took like two minutes to do that? Yeah. And also you don't have to clean the, the bowl of the mixer. So you see, you look everywhere. If there is still flour like that, you continue to mix it, but it should be good. Look, it comes together by itself and the dough is almost ready. But now, now the gluten is sleeping and having a nice nap and not expecting anything aggressive. <laughs> some flour here. Voila. So now you're going to, um, I don't know how you say that in French, but you take a little bit of that. And you mean in English? Sorry? You said you don't know how to say that in French. Oh, oh no, sorry. In English, I don't know how to say that, but I show you. With the palm of your hand, you're going to press on it and up. Oh! very strong okay and you do that in three parts first part up second part very strong huh? not hesitating not going to break anything and third part et well look at your dough 
absolutely beautiful. It smells good. You can even eat it like that. It's really delicious. It's very soft for now, but that's normal. Don't worry. So you take whatever you have on the counter. Don't lose anything. Because with that dough, you can do whatever you want. You can make like small cookies, biscuits, any kind of tart. It's perfect. Look at that. We need a little bit of flour. Just to roll it. Look at that. Look how beautiful is that. And now you press it pretty flat. Like that. I'm doing that because the, now the dough is going in the fridge for at least 30 minutes. But it will be much better if you do it the night before or the day before. The more you let it rest and sit in the fridge, the better it will be. So, But do you, um, you didn't explain why you're wrapping in cellophane? Oh, you're wrapping it? just to uh, keep the, the, the heat inside and, and it doesn't dry. If you leave it without that, it's going to dry. Okay, this in the fridge. And now we can start to do the lemon curd. Okay, cleaning again. See you for the lemon curd. Oh, so, <laughs> room, see, it's like not easy when it's not like, uh, the dough is in the fridge, now we are uh, going to make the curd. So, what for the curd, what do you need? I remember you, that all the measurements and the ingredients are below the video, you can see the list, and I don't have to repeat it here, and you can take to, your time to, to write them. So, what do we need? We need... Um, lemon juice, <laughs> that's the dishwasher, um, lemon juice, lemon zest, butter, a lot of butter, but don't worry, this is a lot of butter, but you won't eat the whole tart, so it's fine. Um, I said the lemon, I've added a little bit, one lime also in the juice, eggs, and sugar. A bowl, a mixer. Again, if you don't have the mixer with your hands, one like that. If you don't have that, with that. Up. Ready? Yes, we are ready. Okay, the zest with the sugar. That. Up. And slowly you mix the zest with the sugar until the sugar is really, really um, moisturized, like wet. Moisturized? Moisture? Yeah, yeah, moisturized. Moisture is good. I make a lot of progress with this um, cooking video. Not that my English was bad, I don't say that. But it's much better now. See? And make sure that the zest is really everywhere. There's not too much 
sugar alone or zest alone. They love to be together. probably notice since you are washing your hands 25 times a day they are very dry so never forget to moisturize your hand with hand cream then you will have beautiful hands you can show on the video see and they crack here okay so eggs you remember I taught you how to crack an egg with one hand, again, like that, like that, and slowly you press, not too much, you open the egg. Up, one, three, and four, look, little egg here, eggshell, you beat the eggs. Wait, wait, where I am? Uh, yes. You add the lemon juice. And my bowl is too small. Take the pot, like that. You add this mixture, everything. Don't lose anything. Always the spatula is fantastic for that because, see? Then you add that. So when everything is in the pot, you mix again. Make sure that. what I'm saying so you continue to mix voilà. and with that and now we go on the stove So now on the stove, we are going to cook the curd. So not too high, medium high. And you steer non-stop. You never stop. Because if you stop, that will make like a big bunch of, of, uh, of lemon. And that's, you don't want. And you are going to do that. And slowly, while you steer like that, you will feel it getting thicker and thicker and thicker. You continue. You stop a second. And you feel a bowl like that with very cold water. Explain to you why. Back here. Okay, you warming. You continue steering non stop, non stop, non stop. You see the color? He's so focused. He doesn't even look at me. Are you? <laughs> Okay, you continue, continue. 
you can sing a song you can think about tomorrow not after tomorrow just tomorrow or even tonight what are you going to cook for tonight it's getting thicker slowly remember to do that then the zest of the lemon goes back in the curd and doesn't stay on the whisk and you will see very soon the first bubbles are coming to appear that means the curd is cooking so when i said the curd is cooking actually the eggs are cooking and when the eggs are cooking they get more solid and the curl gets the curd gets more solid so that's the effect of the eggs so you understood now you can do any curd exactly like that with lemon with other things if you want to make a lemon curd exactly the same recipe um an orange curd sorry exactly the same recipe can you get closer 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 that's right Emma. you see how it gets thicker it's almost ready and you see the first bubble are appearing make a little bit more and we are good look almost good not too much if you cook it too much it's an omelette see a little bit like that and that's enough and why we have this bowl with cold water is because we are going to put this pot follow me in the cold water and that will stop immediately the cooking of the curd the curd won't cook anymore Try. Now, mix it a little bit more to let it cool before adding the butter. And you have two options. The first option is to just put the butter here and mix until the butter is completely uh, mixed with the curd. The other option, what I'm doing, I put that in the mixer. So some will tell you you have to put like frozen butter. Some tell you no, you have to put room temperature butter. I think both are fine. I think. Oh. Voilà. So what I like to do now, strainer, another bowl, and I like to pass the curve. Why? Because it will be nicer on the tart. It will be like more smooth. So you just do that, like that. Yes. See, I need that, or even like that. Yeah. 
Et voilà. You see, it's not very complicated. Just take a little bit of time and you have to be focused. Besides that, it's very easy. If you, look, that's the curl now. If you are not eating um, the biscuit or the, the tart and all of that, you can just do that and then you put that in little pot and you put that in the fridge and you eat like a lemon curd, like a flan. Lemon flan, it's delicious. In the fridge. So here the curd is done. Now we are going to um, take the dough back from the fridge and prepare it. You turn your oven 350 uh, Fahrenheit, which is something like 205 in uh, Celsius, and we're going to prepare the tart itself. Okay. So now, after like 30 minutes or the day after, or an hour after, two hours after, it doesn't matter, we are going to prepare the pâte sucrée. So what do we need? A tray, slip pad. This is a latex thing you can use as a bottom when you have this kind of circle like that, and you don't need really to have a bottom. If you don't have that, it's fine. You use just a regular, um, mold like that larger this one is smaller is small but you can use a regular one it's fine pin roll if you don't have pin roll again doesn't matter it's not a real problem you can do that really by your hands i'll show you we need a little bit of flour here and we take the dough back from the fridge let it warm a little bit. If it's too cold, it's going to break. So it needs to be a little bit warmer. Flour here, then it doesn't stick. So as I told you, not too cold. It may be a little bit cold here, we're going to try. If it's not cold, it will go by itself. If it's cold, you'd see it's cracking here, but that's okay. That's fine. You try to make it extremely regular. And how thick? Depends your taste. If you want to have a tart with like very thick um, crust, because you like that, that works. If you like the crust very thin, make it very thin. Remember that the thinner you'll do it, the more difficult it will be to work it, but it should, it should be fine. So I show you with that, and after that, I'll show you without that. So when you have a thing like that, it's very easy. You just put that here and up you press. Take that back. And you see, it's absolutely perfect. Really, if you like that, if you don't have that, you should buy one. It's really, really fantastic. It costs like nothing and it's very good, okay? If you don't have that, you use that. Remember to put a little bit of butter. The latex here doesn't need butter, but this needs butter. So you put some butter here. And on the side. And remember, if the bottom of the tart is not absolutely perfect, doesn't matter, you don't see it because it will be covered by the, by the, by the curd. 
The most important is the, the edge. So you see, you take some pieces like that and with your hands, you just pull it. You always do the bottom first and you try to make it even. It's very important to try to make it even. Why? Because it will cook evenly. And you see, you patch like a band-aid. Oh, little touch, a little hole. Up, I patch you. Man, that was funny. <laughs> Up. I don't know if you've um, watched the quiche recipe. It's the same issue here. Make sure you don't have holes because if you have holes, the liquid will go through the hole. A bit more here. Now you can give your kids to do that. Don't let just them eat everything. Put them at work. Hey, yeah, this is very good. You can eat that. You see? Okay, now we do the side. So that's where we want something almost perfect. So to do the side, you roll again. Remember, a lot of flour. flour. Then it doesn't stick. You roll. Like that. Same, if you want the edge very thick, you make it thicker, if you not, and then with a knife, well, this is not an Opinel, this is, I don't know, I think it's a Swiss one. Yes, it's a Swiss one, offered by my mother-in-law, Debbie. Hi, Debbie. Hi. And you, <laughs> you cut like that, you see? And you put it here. And then your edge will be absolutely perfect and nice, like almost like the one. Well, it's very delicate, so go slowly. Again, we are not in a hurry. We have nothing else to do. We're probably in confinement, so don't tell me you mess with that. And you see here, what I'm doing here? I'm putting a little bit uh, over the other, then we will cut it. Make sure it stick perfectly on the side. Another one. Yeah, the edge is more important. Well, more important just aesthetically. If you don't care about that, you can just make like rustic age, edges. But if you do like that, you I trust me, your friend will be like, oh my God, how do you do that? And I say, oh, that's my secret. And I don't share my secrets. And then the one, it's almost done. Up, oh, you see, it broke. It's okay. Remember, you can patch and the last one here like that so now you just cut the excess here a little bit of excess here and then you put them together so now make sure that they really stick against the edge because you don't want that to fall. Like that. And with the knife, you cut the extra on the top. You can leave that in the plate, it's fine. They will burn. We don't care. Oh, take it back. 
like that. So now you have two options. You have the risky option and the safe option. The risky option, you put that straight in the oven. The dough may fall, especially the edge. You want the safe one, this in the freezer 15 minutes. You make holes like that, then you're sure the dough won't um, grow up, grow up, rise, 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 it won't rise, voila, and don't worry, the, the liquid can't go through this small hole, it's fine, okay, so I'm going to put it in the freezer for 15 minutes, or even in the in the in the fridge, it's fine. But the freezer is better, and here we are. You can do the same with this one. Uh, let's say this one is the rustic one, okay? This one we don't care about the edge. We make like something countryside, like more like Maine, okay? Like this. Don't don't waste anything. You keep everything. When you cook, when you bake, there's almost nothing you have to throw in the garbage. Everything is reusable. Okay, and make sure here, you see the, the corner here to flatten the corner. Same on the edge. What up? What do you think? It's good, no? Mm. Same, freezer, fifteen minutes. Next step, the meringue. So, while the fat is getting cold, we are going to make the meringue. It's almost finished. Steven said, oh, it's very long. Yeah, it's a tart. Not an omelet. This is the leftover of the of the pat. Keep it on the side, and I'll show you what we can do with that. So what we need here it's sugar, water. By the way, this is a Pyrex thing. For years, I thought that Pyrex was a French brand, but actually it's an American brand. So I'm using French water. Some will tell you mineral water is better. Some will tell you it's fine with uh, with that. But I'm thinking to my friend Anne, who never drink uh, water from the faucet, so I bought water for you. And you'll see the meringue is very easy. In a pot like that. Sorry, I forgot. And two white eggs. Again, the whole recipe is below. The eggs like that. So you put the sugar like this, the water like that, and you come here. Okay, so you add, you put the water and the sugar together and never mix them with something. Just do that. Because if you mix it, you may crystallize the sugar and you don't want that. You just do that and that's perfect. So if you are like a real serious baker like Gus, you will use a thermometer like that. If you don't have that, it's fine. Remember, two centuries ago, they were doing meringue already and they didn't have all of that. So there's always a way to make it. 
So I put that and look at the, you can go heat, huh? high heat, it's fine. We need the sugar and the water to uh, mix together. And again, it goes, if you have the thermometer, it goes at 120 degrees Celsius. Again, a little bit to mix the water and you see, now the water and the sugar is really together. And the boiling is, start, is starting slowly. That's fine. That's what we need. Now it's 100 degrees. So you see, the boil is coming in the middle. A little bit lower. Put it again. Make sure. And now look, count how many minutes from now you let it boil. Probably five minutes. We can count that. How many, which, which hour do you have here? Two minutes. Already? So it is okay. boiled? No, 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 since I started filming. And while this guy is boiling, we are going to prepare the eggs. So you have two, why do you say four? Two white eggs here in the bowl. You add a pinch of salt, like that. And, and medium, you let it dry. It's almost there. So how long did we... Was it? It was like not more than five minutes boiling. It can't become brown. You stop it before. Okay, it's done. It's ready. Now, hot as it is. Shut up. Look at the eggs, you see how the eggs are? They are not solid yet, they are still soft. You pour slowly, slowly, slowly the hot syrup inside. And now you go faster. Be careful to not burn yourself. And now you let it by itself, by itself. How long? Touch the bowl here. The bowl is very warm. Until the bowl gets cold. Still very warm. And hop. Loop. Look at that. Mm. That never rang. Mm. Want some? <laughs> wow. It's perfect. Go back here. You can put the ring in the fridge. Wait. Oh, there's no space in the fridge. That's okay. We'll do that later. Now we take dough back from the oven, from the, the freezer you put yolk and a little bit of water that will make it like nice and br not brown he said uh, like a nice color a very nice color Not too much, and 
is very equal everywhere. Et voilà. In the oven. And that's good for approximately I don't know, 20 minutes. You can check all the time. How is it? You can open the fridge. Uh, the fridge. The oven. And check. So now we take care of the meringue, we just finished. Piping bag, if you don't have a piping bag, it's fine. You can do it with a Ziploc, or even put the meringue on the top of the, of the top without piping bag. I will show you also this, the meringue in the piping bag. Baby, look at that, look how beautiful it is. And always do that to remove the air from the piping bag. And again, if you don't have piping bag, you take a zip lock, zip, zip lock, you cut one of the angle and use it. But if you don't have that, it's better than to put the, the meringue directly on the top. This fin is getting crazy. We are dog sitting and the poor dog is in the bedroom. So we try to get crazy. Okay, now the dough is in the oven, um, the, this goes in the fridge, and um, we are going to assemble everything the lemon curd on the pâte sucre with the meringue. We are almost done. Well, back um, from the oven, the pat is cooked. You can cook it more if, if you like. If you like the the the, the pat very very cooked and crunchy, you can cook it more. So what you do, you separate here all around. Take that off and look. Be very careful because it's extremely fragile. Very. It can, it's still a little bit warm. So after you take it from the oven, you let it cool like for a moment because you don't want to add anything here when it's warm because it's going to get liquid. So you see, it's nice outside. I'm not very happy with the edge here because I did my uh, my smart guy. It wasn't very nice. So it, what you can do is like do that. But you know what? Sometimes we wake up in the morning, we are not very handsome or very nice. So what do we do? We put more cream, we put something colorful and it gets better. It's called cosmetic. So we are going to do cosmetic here. Curd. In that, just like that. Up. If you don't have that, it's okay. Any spoon would work. You try to make it very even. A little bit more curd. Don't worry if it's not completely perfectly flat. Again, it's not the British baking show. Not, not a challenge. There's nothing to earn except a few kilos. Et voilà. 
and canards. Okay. Now, the meringue. Not everybody likes meringue. Huh? Meringue is very sugar. So if you don't like meringue, you can just leave it like that. It's perfect. You can add whipped cream, if you like whipped cream, or, or what? Nothing else. And then we are going to put the meringue like that. Maybe I didn't make enough meringue, it's fine. No worry. So the other way to put the meringue, also you can just like with the spoon, you take the meringue and up you make like iceberg, not iceberg, like yes, iceberg on it. That'll be very nice. Just enough, wow. That's a big one here. Yes. What do you think? Okay, so now you want to be... Let's finish the side here. I have a few meringue here. I can just make small one here like that. add some here if you want whatever you want so now you have many options that's good but we can make it nicer so the other way to make it nicer is to burn not to burn, the brown the meringue so for that you need a special tool um, I forgot the name of the special tool I'm going to get it right now so this is the tool we need this one was offered by Monica my sister-in-law, the beautiful sister of my lover. And up, like that. If you don't have that, there is one thing you can do, is to turn on the broil of the oven and put that in the oven a few seconds. But you must watch, because you don't want to burn anything or to cook more. Look, Monica, isn't it great? And then let's make some decoration. For example, you take a lime and you put some zest of lime on it. That will give a nice green color. Again, all of that is cosmetic, so you can do whatever you want. This is not a rule. So if you like simple things, if you like more color, you can put like, I don't know, uh, pearls of, of, of things, Smarties. Look, you remember the lemon we pressed before? There's tons of zest here also. That's very nice. That will give a good taste. Oh. This thing I've discovered that here, it's Aaron Ruff. He's an artist of the Invisible Dog. He offered me that. He said, you must have that. And it's true, it's amazing. Voila. Play it like that, and it's not finished. If you want, you can add some rose petal. It's very nice. Voila. If you want to add more zest, you can cut the rest of the zest of the lemon. Be careful to not take the white because the white is not good. It's like, it's very bitter. And you can do something like that. I don't know. Do whatever you want. Play with that. 
Give that to the kids. They will keep them busy for at least an hour. Et voilà. Et voilà, c'est fini. Look, isn't it beautiful? So now that goes in the fridge and you really let it, um, let it um, cool. Like you need to eat it really, really cold. Oh, what you can do also, it's to uh, spread some confectioner sugar on the top. But for us, do you like it like that? Well, yes. yes. Okay, so if Steven knows, that's enough for me. Leftover of, of the curd in a bowl, clean bowl. Like that. Like that. Up. Small zest to be nice. Et voilà. And you put that in the fridge and you eat that anytime during the day. It's really good. And you remember, we had some leftover of the dough. You can make little cookies with that. Very simple. Like that. Some sugar on it. Up in the oven. And it's fantastic. Ooh, that was a long one. But that was a fun one. Thank you. Thank you very much. If you have questions, remember, you can... Um, ask me all the questions on my Instagram, Lucien Chef Ambition. You have under the video, you have all the quantities to make um, um, the lemon tart. Um, I'm doing live sometimes, so follow the live. Um, send me any message we want, uh, you want. I try to uh, answer to everyone. Thank you, Stephen, for being so, so patient. Stephen is going to edit um, also the video and make me like really really nice see you very soon for um more video more recipes live or recorded thank you very very much bye bye